instant invoice is a SharePoint add-in that helps small business owners, freelancers, entrepreneurs, consultants, and contractors build invoices, estimate receipts, etc. They can send invoices by email and receive payment with just one click. Instant Invoice was built for everyone who is managing their business finances but probably doesn't have any training in technical things like accounting and payroll. All our tools are easy to use. You don't need a college degree to use or even understand this adding. Now let's go to the site and show you how this actually works. There are two places you can actually download Instant Invoice. You can go to this, um, Office 365. Uh, by just click on uh, go, you go to add an app and click SharePoint store and search right here for instant invoice but since we already have it downloaded we're just going to go back to our site and we have it right here so when you download it from Office 365 um, you will have it right here another way of actually getting um, instant invoice is uh, through uh, downloading the add-in from our site uh, www.cotechinc.com but um, since we already have it uh, downloaded let me just go ahead and uh, jump on it and, and show you how to configure it so the first time when you download it it's gonna take a, 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 just about uh, it's gonna take about 25 minutes uh, sorry 25 seconds to load because it's trying to configure your um, your environment for the very first time but subsequently it takes about um, less than even three seconds to load all right so this is a, just the brief overview of uh, this particular adding you can create invoices to uh, by hovering on the right um, on the right hand side to uh, expand the menu or by clicking right here when you click right there, you have to select the type of uh, document you want to create. You want to create a, an invoice, you want to create a tax invoice, pro forma, receipt, sales receipt, a quote, estimate, whatever type of document you want to create. Um, you can pretty much uh, fill out all the information and just download it to PDF. Uh, so let's go ahead and create, um, uh, let's create a new invoice, all right? So I'm just going to hover on the left hand side and click create. Let's fill in some information. Um, uh, this is going to be so we're creating an invoice for one of our customers called Unbound Inc. Um, primary contact there, uh, John Doe. Legal business address. Uh, and email address for our customer all right and you can as you can see you can select multiple currencies you can where this particular uh, adding supports uh, more than uh, 50 different currencies uh, you can customize your invoice using um, uh, the customization tool right there you can add description now let's show you what that have what that means so if i check this particular checkbox to add the description now if i search for an item let's just say um uh let's search this one now the description actually shows right there if i uncheck that particular um, uh, checkbox see now the description is gone uh so but let's add the description let's add some um tax information and let's add the discount as well and you can also customize if this is say left say for example this is supposed to be a timesheet you are sending out you can select hours instead of quantity and amount or you can just select only the amount if you don't want um the this if you don't want quantity discount and tax to actually show up you can just say amount only and everything will go away and you just have only these two rows all right so let's go ahead and um let's just leave it like that and this is going to be this is supposed to be um five percent discount and a tax of 7.8 percent and you see as you can see for yourself it uh, automatically calculates as you add so if i go ahead and change the quantity to two uh everything um, is calculated automatically 
All right, let's see. Uh, let me go ahead and change that to one five and seven point eight. Uh, all right. So and for the you can add them some condition. We're just gonna you can change this note to whatever you want. So we're gonna change that to additional note instead of terms and condition. And you can customize the text. You can type uh, this is just an extra text. And you can change your logo as well. So let's upload a, a different logo. Okay, let me see. Images and let's upload this other logo there you have it we have a different logo for this document and let's create our invoice click the create button and there you have it invoice created successfully now it's going to reload our uh, invoice administration portal and we should be able to see the um, invoice we just created uh, you have it right there by just clicking on it you see it actually loads it or the, you can actually click on the drop down to show it. Um, you can copy this particular invoice that we just created to create a, a copy of it to create a new one based on this particular invoice. You can send it by email. So let's go ahead. We can let's say we want to send this particular invoice um, to uh, our customer, Jane uh, at unbound.com. Um, we can send send it to multiple customers as well so let's say k at uh, j.com i'm not gonna send this so that's why i'm just putting uh, i'm just putting fake email addresses and if you want to send it to multiple customers always remember to uh, separate them by a semicolon all right um if you want to add additional note let's just add some additional note to that um let me grab some notes from uh, somewhere. Let me grab this. Okay. And if you want to include payment, if you want to include a payment link, you can always click on that to include payment link. But you can see there is a there is a, so, uh, a brief hint telling you if you want to include payment link, make sure you must have configured your payment, right? So you must have gone into your settings page and actually configured the payment. Um, if you want to, in, um, uh, you want them to pay by credit card, you click um, uh, secure credit card. That means it's going to send the email, and there will be a button in that email that your users will click, and uh, and will take them to a, uh, a payment um, a page where they can actually pay by credit card, or they can pay by um, um, uh, by PayPal, or they can actually send them your business address. Or wherever you want them to make the check and all of this is configured from the payment page from your administration page all right so if I click send it's gonna send the email and you can attach multiple you can send multiple attachment to support this particular document as well but we're not gonna do that right now this is just a brief overview to show you every single thing that can be done um, all your items and remember when I was creating uh, the new invoice everything is actually from the items list so i can create a new item right here and whenever i create a new item let's just create one real quick uh this is going to be um next sharepoint dedicated hosted plan and i just leave the description like that Okay, and the price is going to be five forty nine ninety nine. Currency is the, uh, U.S. dollars, and the item <coughs> created successfully. Now, if I go to create a new uh, invoice, I can just search for this item when creating my new invoice. So let's create a new. Let's say, okay, we want to create a new receipt. Um, and as you can see, when you select receipt, it defaults right there to your receipt, but you can always change it also from here. All right. So if I search right now for um, next SharePoint, and you have it right there, dedicated hosted plan. If I put up the description, 
you will see that that particular description that will paste that will copy and paste actually it's right there all right moving down to uh, customers right here you can actually see all your customers you can search for customers you can see the customers last transaction like for example the first one is Adam San um, made a payment of four thousand dollars on on Sunday uh, uh, February 12th all right uh, you can see that uh, you can also see uh, Jindo also made another payment of two thousand dollars you can see all the reports of all your customers all right now on the report page this is where you actually get more detailed information about each particular transaction right if you click on each of them it will give you more information about it for example um this particular invoice is partially paid this is a note from the note you can see that the, the this invoice is partially paid last payment received was on on sunday february uh the fifth and the total amount paid was four thousand uh payment method was through wire transfer and uh, there were some additional notes that were entered whenever this payment was received right everything is actually being recorded right there um you can filter the the, the report say you want everything for that was done in january go one month behind and you you want to go only january as you can see we didn't have anything for january so let's get something for february okay let's go to february now we see we have four invoices for february you can actually get everything uh let's reset the filter you can get everything you can get current month you can get last month you can get the last 90 days you can get the last six months the current year or the last year right you can see we have two for last year two for current year all right always you can drill down you can copy all of this data to to clipboard so i if i copy this i can copy that to clipboard it's been copied four rows and now if i open excel or word or even outlook let's go ahead and open excel Let's, I can paste that and you have it right there in, in Excel. Alright. I can export this to a CSV. I can export this to Excel. I can download as PDF as well. So let's go ahead and download as PDF. And there you have it. In PDF format. Alright. You can download your report to PDF. So moving down to the settings page. Remember, this is where you enter all your business information. Alright um if you want to use your own custom smtp server you can configure it right here you enter your custom smtp information and say yes whenever you're sending an invoice it's going to use your own custom smtp that means it's going to use your custom email address if not it's going to use your name as the email as an as the email address but the email will be coming from our own smtp server all right you can configure the payments if you want to accept um, a paypal um if you want to accept um, a credit card you check right here you want to accept paypal you, you check right here select the currency enter your stripe api key uh for uh, credit card so if you want primarily we support only stripe for for credit card but again we can always add any other um, um credit card um, processing um, uh, or credit card gateway that you actually have all right if you want to accept mailing check enter the mailing address over here and click accept mailing check and update your payment all right and if you want to contact tech support you can always um, uh, click either you click over here to contact tech support or you click right here and you and fill in your information and uh, you can contact tech support that way as well moving down to the uh, quick start guide this is actually a page that gives you all the information on actually how to actually use um, instant invoice any information you have is right here if at one particular point in time um, your question that you have is not answered send us an email and we will definitely definitely get back to you within uh, we, we, we respond within 24 hours all right so that 
is just a brief overview of instant invoice if you have any question always leave a comment below or send us an email at uh, info at and we will definitely get back to you all right thank you